Welcome to Math with Professor V. This is the final video in the countdown to 2025 for 13 integrals in 13 days. So we have a very special definite integral from 0 to 0 0.6 of x squared over the square root of 9 minus 25x squared dx, all multiplied by 112,500 divided by pi. That's there for a reason. Don't fret, okay? So pause the video, give it a try. I think almost all of you should be able to do this one pretty seamlessly. No surprise, it involves trig sub. Um, some of the constants might make it a little sticky though, so I'm just gonna jump right in. Remember, when you have a constant minus a variable quantity squared, we go in and we use the substitution that involves sine theta. So typically you'll see it like a squared minus x squared, right? It could be under a radical or it could just be somewhere in your integral. And we let x equal a sine theta. Well, in this case, since we have 9, then our constant a is 3. And then instead of just plain old x, we actually have the quantity 5x squared. So for this particular integral, we're going to make the substitution where we let 5x equal 3 sine theta. All right. From here, you could differentiate both sides now. You could divide by 5 if you want. I'm just going to do that. So x is 3 fifths sine theta. And then dx is 3 fifths cosine theta d theta. Okay. Other thing we need to be careful about is the fact that this is a definite integral. So we have to figure out what our new limits of integration are gonna be. Currently, these limits, zero and 0 0.6, they belong to the variable of the integral, which is x. So I'm gonna substitute them in for x and find what my new limits are in terms of theta. So new limits. We have upper limit is 0.6. I'm going to substitute that in for x right here. Come on, box up nicely. There we go. Okay, so 0. 0.6 equals 3 fifths, no surprise, is also 0. 0.6 sine theta, which means sine theta is 1. When does that happen? When theta is pi over 2. So my new upper limit's going to be pi over 2. And then the lower limit, 0, equals 3 fifths sine theta. That just means sine theta is zero. So that happens when theta is zero. So my lower limit stays zero, okay? Very good. Now let's rewrite our whole integral all in terms of theta with the new limits of integration and just keep this constant outside. It's, it's doing its job, okay? Don't worry about it. So we have 112,500 divided by pi now my integral goes from zero to pi over two. And then don't forget, we had x squared up top, so that would be this whole quantity squared. Nine over 25 sine squared theta. Okay, over square root, what was underneath the radical? It was nine minus 25x squared, which is now nine sine squared theta. And then don't forget our d theta is 3 fifths cosine theta d theta. Excuse me, dx is 3 fifths cosine theta d theta. Good? Okay, this looks mildly disgusting. So let's start cleaning up. What I would do is take the constants, banish them outside. So we've got 112,500 over pi. Outside we'll have 9 times 3, that's 27 over 25 times 5 is 125. Then we have 0 to pi over 2, sine squared theta, cosine theta, d theta, over, this is going to be square root, 9 times 1 minus sine squared theta. Good? Okay, now remember we do trig sub so we can use our Pythagorean identities and simplify the integrand. So let's replace cosine squared theta with that one minus sine squared. And square root of all of that means the denominator is now three cosine theta. Okay, can I simplify that constant outside a wee bit? Let us see. Yes, 112,500 
cancels with 125 and becomes dun, 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 900. Okay, so now we've got 900 over pi. I'm gonna leave it as 27 for a hot second. Then we have integral zero to pi over two, sine squared theta, cosine theta, d theta. What's in the denominator now? Just three cosine theta, right? Okay, perfect. Then boom, boom, cosine theta cancels. This three right here will cancel with 27 and just give me a nine. So then I've got nine times 900. So we've got 8,100 over pi times the integral from zero to pi over two sine squared theta d theta. Nice. Okay, good. The worst is most certainly over. So anytime you're trying to integrate sine squared, you replace it with your half angle identity. So we've got 8,100 over pi times integral zero to pi over two. Sine squared theta is one half times one minus cosine two theta d theta. Very good. 8,100 times a half becomes 4,050 over pi. And then now we can go ahead and take our antiderivative. So antiderivative of one is theta. And then minus antiderivative of cosine two theta is gonna be one half sine two theta. And this is all gonna get evaluated from zero to pi over two. Good? Okay, so don't freak out, one half times 8,100 gave me 4,050, and then just leave the pi down there. And then we're in the home stretch, guys, so 4,050 over pi, just leave it out there. Upper limit is gonna be pi over two minus one half times sine of two times pi over two, that's pi, minus lower limit's gonna be zero minus one half sine of zero, zero. Okay, and then we know sine of pi is zero, so this is just zero. This whole thing is zero. So all I'm left with is 4,050 over pi times pi over two, which gets you, don't, don't, no, no, 2,025. Yay! <laughs> so hopefully now it makes sense why I had that random constant out front of the integral from the very get-go. I had to reverse engineer this sucker. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this countdown. I've had so much fun making these videos and I have even more fun reading your comments, seeing different ways that you guys solve the same integral or different twists and turns. Sometimes you come up with ways that are way more efficient and I love it. I love it. That's the thing too with math, it's so beautiful. You can do it for years, but the more you really dive deep into a particular topic, you can hone your skills and learn so many things. There's no end to it, right? It's beautiful. Thank you guys so much for your support. And I hope you guys have a wonderful 2025. I'm really excited for what the new year is gonna bring. Definitely hoping that this channel grows so I can help more students and we can really expand what we do here together. And thank you guys once again. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram, TikTok. Give this video a thumbs up. Let me know how you like the problem. And I have to say you guys are a huge inspiration too for suggesting countdowns like this, coming up with different problems. And I really, really appreciate it. Okay, love you guys so much. Bye, see you next year.